Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to COD Zombies HQ. This is a highlight video from a stream we did a few days ago where we no-clipped all around the giant. The objective was twofold. Firstly, to look around the map and see if anything has changed with all the recent updates into Black Ops 3. And secondly, was just to explore the map, pointing out any interesting things we come across along the way. If you do enjoy the video, remember to drop a thumbs up down below, and I hope you enjoy. The spawn right over here. Uh, something you guys should know about no-clip. If I go to high... This will happen, everything gets whited out, so let's go back down, let the textures load once again. Gotta get real close to it. And now we're good. So first of all, here is our giant laser beam friend. You can kind of even get inside it and look at his perspective. Looking towards the map, this is of course where that s snow melting easter egg, I'm not even sure if it has an official name, uh, comes in, or the beam emanates from in the regular uh, giant play. Now, something interesting here is that this body is only half modeled. Like, it's just kind of sticking out of the ground. I guess we can go inside it. I mean, it's kind of cool that the bottom here is modeled. How about above it? Nothing, just regular. Whoa, just regular modeled. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. Do you guys see that? Hold on, I, I want to get to it without having that stupid lighting glitch triggered. What the heck is that box doing there? Ah, triggered again. That, that, I have no explanation for what that box is. Perhaps it is a developer tool or something, but obviously, like, you're not supposed to see it, right? For, from this is the perspective, looking out of the map from the spawn, you won't be able to see this box, but... God, it's so weird. I can't get close to it, because if I get close, it'll trigger the lighting glitch. So obviously, right now, we are above spawn. Something interesting about the giant that isn't really... Not really that prevalent in other maps is that, if you guys can see... This is the regular ceiling, so I can't go down any lower than I am right now. Um, usually if you're just in a regular theater in the giant, the, right below me, right below this wire, is the highest you can go up out, out of the map. But here, of course, we're out of the map, and this is the lowest we can go. So checking out the spawn all around here, uh, nothing that interesting. That is, of course, one of the main easter eggs down over there for the giant. Let's see if we can see anything in the windows here. We are currently paused in the game, too, so hopefully the flame won't be that much of an issue. Okay, so this is, of course... The area of the flytrap easter egg. Let me get down and around. Here are the actual items. Hold on, let me, uh, I think we're on lighting. Yep, we are. Let me light that up. Whoa! <laughs> a little bit too light up. Hold on, let's, uh, reduce the intensity a whole lot. Still way too bright. Okay, we'll just... I think you guys can see it w without it. Maybe if I move it. If I move it, like, here. Yeah, that's better. Alright. Uh, there we go. First item, the monkey bomb. Looking very, very cool. Second item on the list here, a bowie knife. Uh, no specific texture on that knife too, it's just like like you'd think maybe it'd, be, it'd spawn in with one of the camos you have in game, but doesn't look like it's any specific camo, just straight black. Uh, looks to be less textured than the regular version as well. Uh, not that much detail on that handle and the grip. Alright, moving on to the next item, a... Samantha Teddy Bear, of course, looking menacing as always. Next item after that, another teddy bear. And what is that in the ground? Is that a grenade? That does kind of look like a grenade to me. You can see the fuse sticking up top there. Okay, so I guess one of the items... Yeah, you can see caution on it. That is, in fact, a grenade. One of the items just sitting on top uh, uh, of the ground here. At least half in the ground. That's pretty interesting. Let's see if we can identify anything else. Oh, okay. Hold, hold on. Here's, here's the legit grenade fully out of the ground. I don't know why this one's, like, half sitting in there. Maybe they're just all putting the same level playing field and, uh... And this, the ground is higher over there, so it's sticking half underground. Not exactly sure why. But there are all the items for the flytrap easter egg. And of course, we have the control panel over here as well. Uh, so I don't think we can identify anything interesting with the fire. We can see what Treyarch does here, though. If you're looking to, from this perspective, it looks like the fire is actually inside the windows, right? But what they do is they place the fire right in front of the windows to give it that kind of idea that the fire's happening in there. But obviously we lose that sense of perspective when we're looking from this side. Okay, so let's head back this way. Sure, if there's any Germans in chat, uh, firstly, good evening. And secondly, what does this translate to? Kopfleischbestek FA. Alright, so of course this is where we shoot that flytrap easter egg from. Anything on the ground here. Looking for little bits of paper, uh, ooh, some books over here. I've never actually noticed these books in game. Let's see if perhaps there's anything like, uh, like written on them, maybe a cipher or something like that. Nope, nothing like that. Uh, this does look very familiar to the book that, if you guys remember, on Revelations inside Samantha's room. 
There's a very similar looking book that has numbers written all over it. We kind of pointed that out during one of our Revelations noclip streams, so uh, unfortunately here it doesn't seem like there are any... Yeah, there's no no night like letters or numbers or any kind of cipher written on these books. Uh, can you guys see any titles or anything on them as well? Ah, oh, that's a little bit too light, eh? Nope, nothing that I can see. If you guys didn't know, the Mob of the Dead plane is sitting right here on the giant on top of this teleporter area. Here, let's quickly light it up so you guys can see it a little bit better. That side and that side. There it is, man. The Mob of the Dead plane. Obviously not textured at all. Uh, when these lights aren't here, it's just meant to be a shadow. So nothing that big, but uh, taking a look at it. I mean, it, it is fairly well textured with the, like, the tanks and stuff, even the gauges up here. Are, are in but uh, obviously just not textured and a little bit a little bit misshapen too so again this is just supposed to give the impression of a shadow and nothing else pretty cool though man like it, it's more detailed than I thought it would be you can even see the planks where the uh, the oxygen tanks are interesting why they decided to model this if you're just looking at it from this perspective you don't really see these planks or really these oxygen tanks excuse me at all and of course, I don't even know what this was in the original. Looks like some kind of radiator or something like that. Hanging off the side of the wing. Taking a look at it from the front, that's how it looks like. Looking at it from the 6, where that fin is. Pretty cool. Of course, looking down towards that teleporter, there is the famous catwalk. You can see under there as well. So, if you guys didn't know about this, Mop the Dead Plane is on the giant. Uh, it appears in most... Uh, Black Ops 3 Zombies maps, I believe. Yeah, it appears in Shadows of Evil. I don't remember it being in Derizendrock. I know it flies across the, si uh, the sky in Zetsubo. I think it also appears in uh, in Gorod Krovi, and I don't think we see it in Revelation. So, the Mob of the Dead plane making some significant appearances throughout Black Ops 3, and this is something, guys, that we do not have explained yet. We don't know why this Mob of the Dead plane is on the giant. The Hanging Man, how does- does he have a top? <laughs> He does not have a top. He does not have a top, so... There he is. A lot of people are uh, always very questionable about what this guy is or who he was. You can see him over from this balcony in-game. Uh, you can make him up perhaps with a sniper rifle, but uh, the hanging man, just his legs dangling out from the sky, does not have a top. I can't actually get above him. I might be able to no-clip through this wall. Nope. It's, uh, it's a hard object. Can't do that. But there he is, boys. Pretty freaking cool. You can even see his boots. Uh, nothing written on him that I can tell. The texture seems pretty low res as well. Once you're inside the game, you just look up here with any kind of regular weapon or a sniper rifle. And you can see that little glitch up there. That, that, it's really weird that why they didn't put just like a, an actual wall above there and just didn't let it cap off. So you can shoot outside the map and it activates something. It is kind of weird. Just, uh, oh, it's, it looks like it's a... It almost looks like a scarf, doesn't it? But it looks more like a like paper than anything. Let's take a look how it would seem from inside the map. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I, I can't make out any uh, any written text on it or anything. But just a random flag. Uh, if you guys aren't aware, these are... I wonder if we can get a shot of it. Uh, it's The animation doesn't play in here, but this actually appears on the World at War version as well. This box is the teleporter room, so when you get go through, I'm sorry for you tripping out your eyes, boys, but uh, once you go inside a teleporter, this is what you see. The animation plays in front of you, you get locked in place, then you get bopped to somewhere else in the map. I I'm not 100% sure if we can actually see this from inside the map. I don't think we can get anywhere, well, maybe if you're over there, I don't know. But here is, of course, the help. Written out in uh, sandbags and planks. I actually, I'm not sure if I remember if this was on the original map. I think it was. The uh, the shadow. Where, where's that light? There it is. <laughs> so there's, you can actually see the uh, the light source where it emits from, eh? A little bit glitchy, but you can actually see it. I, it doesn't appear our camera gets in the way of it, so... It seems like it's just locked into that teddy bear right there. Remember, this is in Silesia, which you guys told me was in Poland. And of course, we have... Uh, if you guys aren't following... Well, I don't see why you would be, but uh, I guess it was in the news, probably internationally. But uh, there was actually, supposedly, a train car filled with Nazi gold buried underneath somewhere in Silesia, or uh, which was then Eastern Germany, or at least uh, uh, occupied Poland during the Second World War, that people claimed to have found uh, an underground train car of, filled with Nazi gold. 
It was a huge story for a while. Nothing has been found. I believe they started digging, but they weren't able to find the train, even though they had some false positives. So, uh, there is the train car leading onto the tracks here in Doris. All right, and look at these paw prints. Pretty interesting, just random over here. They are super glitchy, especially the one on the left, as you guys can see. Look at that. But the paw prints, like, you would never be able to see this from inside the map. That blocks it off from that direction. I don't even think if you have a sniper, you'll be able to see it. This is, of course, a zombie spawn. Just two very weird paw prints. Ludwig Maxis, MD office, nur für Mitarbeiter. I don't know what that means. Here's, of course, the zombie spawn area. And uh, sorry if that is too bright. I can even take that away. Uh, delete them all. The office of Dr. Maxis in the giant. I, if you guys weren't aware, if it's over here, but uh, here it is, man. Uh, nothing behind that door. I, I don't think yet. Yeah, it's, it's got collision on it, though, so it's weird that it does have collision. Some writings on the wall here. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you with another Zombies news video very freaking soon. Peace.